Hello from Sweden and welcome back to another pick a card reading. In today's reading we're gonna look at what does your future self want you to know and to do this reading I have prepared three different piles with cards that will be three separate readings. What you do is you choose the pile that you naturally feel the most drawn to and that will be your reading today. As always, we will also take one additional card together and hopefully that will help you to find that right reading today. And I just feel this one popping out and that one. So what does your future self want you to know? Yeah. Okay, pile one. The mouse and buttercup, innocence. The mouse and buttercup with innocence. Hmm. Pile two. The butterfly and snowdrop with hope. And pile three. The boar and pumpkin with confidence. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can just pause the video. Otherwise, as like always, you will find the timestamps shared in the commentary section. Okay, guys, I'll see you in your separate readings. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. What does your future self want you to know? And you felt drawn here to the mouse and buttercup with innocence. And buttercups are very connected to uh, children. Yeah, children, the inner child, joy, happiness. And with the innocence here and the mouse... I feel like the first message here is your future self wants you to know that you have found peace within you. Uh, you have not just found peace within you, you have also found happiness. And uh, yeah, you have found happiness and I feel like I want to cry <laughs> uh, because I think this was very important for you to find happiness and forgiveness and also you found you 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 got back your childlike nature so i feel like uh, you could have lost a part of your own childlike nature the purity and the innocence that you have within you during your childhood because of uh, suffering and challenges that you went through um, yeah, maybe connected to your parents or something like that. Or maybe later in life something happened to you that made you lose a part of yourself in some way and some part of your heart became tainted or became... Uh, mm, be just became heavier and closed. It's like you close the door to your inner connection maybe with your inner child so that is your your future self wants you to know that you got that back like with all the happiness you have a very joyful inner child and uh, yeah very joyful inner child you know with a mouse here also a very delicate you're a very delicate creature you have a very gentle and soft nature a very sensitive nature nature so i think that whatever was hurting you whatever pain and suffering you, you, you went through and that you, uh, it really, it's weird to say, but it really damaged you in some way. Even maybe even traumatized you in some way, but it damaged you in some way. So it's kind of, you lost that purity of soul. You didn't lose it. It was just more like the heaviness uh, took more place in your heart. So you, your future self wants you to know that you're gonna, you're gonna clear that out. We have a zero here, so I guess this is the first card, you know, in the in this deck. But the zero is also the full card, and I love the full card in the tarot deck because it really signifies a new beginning. It's being light at heart, being full with joy, and uh, you know, curiosity. A child doesn't think about the dangers that life can bring them. Uh, because yeah, we don't we don't uh, um, 
we don't get born with fear programmed into our whole system. <laughs> uh, some of us are carrying heavy karma, of course, but it doesn't. It has to get. It has to get triggered, kind of in some way. So, uh, and even if you were born with a lot of karma, you're, you, you, it's gonna clear. I feel like you, you finding happiness. Yeah, that is the key word here. You're, you're finding happiness. You're finding peace. You're f finding forgiveness, and also, you are in a place where you are honoring your sensitivity and, and carrying it as with pride. The sensitivity that you have is no longer a burden because sometimes being an empath, uh, I, I say that many times, I don't know if it's a curse or if it's a, if it's a gift or it's a curse because it's so hard to handle when you have such a, a deep sensitivity in a world where people normally don't have that and in a world that is very harsh in so many ways very challenging and harsh for a sensitive person <clears throat> but you're also learning here in the future you i just hear you made it like everything is fine your your uh, future self wants you to know that and also you have created a life for yourself where you are happy so it's not just you found happiness within you healed your child and and you became F fully you again taking back that piece pieces that you uh, the pieces of your power that you gave away when you went through some hurts not just that you've also created a happy life for yourself like the outward life where you work uh, your friends your family everything has come together in a way and I, I feel like I want to cry <laughs> because it feels like uh uh, it feels like pure joy for you to have reached this place. Uh, yeah, it feels it's gonna be pure joy for you to have reached this place. And it's like I see you standing there, fa your face is uh, facing the sun, and you have your hand on your heart and with showing gratitude. So you're gonna be very grateful in the future for everything that you have overcome, but also you know with the zero you have ended that. And you have stepped, you have fully stepped into that new beginning and living, not just stepped into it. You're living a new life in happiness, uh, in ease, and joy. I mean joy, <laughs> joy and laughter. Ooh, okay. Let's put the tarot cards to the side. So yeah, I'm I'm doing deep meditation. I'm actually snowed in. Uh, yeah, it's been snowing a lot, and I have like yeah, 250 meters to from the house down to the closest like uh, road. And uh, yeah, I don't have a truck or I don't have a tractor or what do you call it? So I don't have. I don't have a big plow, so I'm stuck actually here in the house, which is fine. I have food and things, so I just have to wait until the sun comes and the snow melts. But I've been doing some deep meditation, so I feel like uh, my energy is very pure. Yeah, very pure, but also very sensitive. So uh, don't mind me crying. <laughs> it's just energy is releasing. So anyways, whew, okay, diversity with turmeric. Turmeric, turmeric, yeah, turmeric, hmm. I just felt some Indian viewers here. Hello, my Indian viewers <laughs> with the turmeric. Um, but diversity, yeah, you, you've been facing a lot of things, you know. You, you, you know, your future self recognizes that, is, uh, recognizes that. Yeah, how am I supposed to say that? Hmm, yeah, recognizes that, put that into recognition. Uh, you have been facing a lot of diversity, a lot of challenges, a lot of, a lot of things. Uh, and it's going to be... <laughs> It's going to be over. It's not even going to be, I don't know. It's like you're, <laughs> there's not going to be there. It's not going to be there anymore. The challenges are not going to be there anymore. They have been lifted out of your reality. They have been lifted out of your reality. Yeah. And we have, oh, wow. Hello again. <laughs> Recycle and recover. And recycle and recover. Yeah, it's yeah, recycle, you know, you you came back to your own. So say you became you say you started like here, you know, and then life you went through all these challenges, you know, maybe this lifetime, maybe many lifetimes, you know, challenges after challenges, karma, you know, sufferings. And now you're coming back to where you started. You're purifying your energy. Purifying your energy means that you are releasing the 
emotional pain that is stored in your body and the emotional pain that is stored in your body that is what is called the pain body that is also called what is called uh, sankaras uh, that is uh, past unprocessed emotional pain and mental reactions that is stored like in your body so that is making your energy not pure it's not you or it's not you that are not pure it is just the human conditioning and the way it works here on earth like a soul that gets incarnated here on earth we have uh, an ego we have uh, and the ego is uh, us identifying ourselves with our thoughts and then there is reactions but there is a uh, there is a some there is a consequence of this the consequence when we keep on reacting is it creates karma and karma is actually another word for uh reactive reactivity making energy stuck some somewhere inside of us <clears throat> in our inner body the emotional body the, the energy body uh, and so but anyways you are you're going back to your original you're purifying your mind you're purifying your energy you're coming back to the innocence that the purity of who you are and you are you are a beautiful childlike delicate creature and uh, you're you're going to find i see you finding a place in the world that suits somebody like you so you're not going to be in the midst of the city you know with the dense dense energies and dense people and a lot of ego and things like that you are a delicate i mean what are you, you are sensitive and the world is a bit too harsh for you so and you're going to really honor that sensitivity like like a strength in, instead of a, a burden maybe to carry and you're going to find you're finding a way to live your life in peace. So you're definitely going to live an unconventional life. I see, yeah, I see you living an unconventional life in the future. Uh, not in the matrix and, and probably somewhere in the nature. Uh, probably uh, surrounded by, with people that you love. I see you, you're, you, I don't see any toxic relationships in the future or something like that. You have solved all of those things. You have forgiven, you have come to peace, you have cut the cords, you have moved on. And uh, yeah, peace is coming to you. Uh, a lot of peace in the future. Uh, let's see here, not the right time. Hmm, not the right time. Let's leave it there and let's come back to that card. And we have overrate your intuition. What an interesting, <laughs> what an interesting uh, thing. Overrate your intuition. Yeah, you're start. You're gonna. It's like kind of like I felt like you're seeing your sensitivities because your sensitivity is the gifts that you have. You know, being very sensitive also means that you're highly psychic. You're high. You have highly intuitive gifts, highly empathic gifts. So it is a gift. It is a big gift. Uh, it is just you recognizing that, knowing, know, it's like all the saints and sages of the past always has said, know thyself, know thyself. So that's what's happening with you. You're getting to know thyself. And by doing that, you're starting to really, really know <laughs> who you are at the essence. And also with that, also f the needs that you have and how to handle yourself in a reality like Earth with all the responsibilities and the things and the challenges that we have here as human beings. Like we have to work, we have to have somewhere to live uh, and all those things. But you're finding a way. You're fine. You know, the mouse is very... Uh, you know, the mouse can always find a way. <laughs> it always can sneak into some little crack or some somewhere. You know, it always finds a way out. Or, uh, yeah, it always finds a way. Or in, you know, I have my mice here in the house. <laughs> they always find their, 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 their way in. And then I have two cats also. So, yeah, there's a lot of chasing. I always, I have a little box here. So when they bring a mouse in, I always chase them and try to bring them out. <laughs> so, anyways... Uh, so you will find your way. That's what I'm saying. You will find your way. The mouse will always find their way, even in like you know, in the most uh, uh, yeah leaves and snow and everything. They will find a little way to guide themselves to where to a safe place. Yeah, to a safe place <laughs> where the cats cannot take them. So you you find you 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 found your way, and it wouldn't surprise me if you're working with something. 
uh, you know, with the recycle here, I don't know, maybe something, doing something sustainable, uh, recycling something maybe, you know, making uh, clothes from, uh, re recycled clothes or <laughs> something like that, or having your own farm, living in a little community maybe where you're like making your own food, you know, you have a, a solar panels uh, to uh, get electricity. You, it wouldn't surprise me if you would live something like that. It doesn't have to be, but it feels definitely feel like it feels like you're doing something artisty, something creative. So that feels like it's very important. Yeah, you're you're definitely not living. And I don't know why. Maybe you're retired. Some of you are getting retired even in this pile. But I see. I see you really finding a way to support yourself. It, and it feels balanced and it feels like you're creating beautiful things that you're selling. So whatever you're doing also with your work, your work, yeah, whatever you're doing at a work level also feels very pure and very beautiful. So definitely some artist here uh, publishing things, sh sh selling things. Uh, and some of you are really growing vegetables here, a lot of vegetable growing, being in the garden. If there is this, I, I sense you're free, you're, you're, you're free, you are free, you are free. And I like that I put not the right time over here <laughs> and not over here, like kind of in the beginning. I always see this kind of like, you know, the beginning and this kind of how it goes. Uh, so not the right time. You're getting there. You are getting, you are getting here. You are getting here. You're still facing some diversity. You're still facing things. You're still facing and healing things, but you're getting here. Uh, so yeah, you're, you're gonna get there. You're gonna get there, pile one. Okay, <clears throat> let me start with a sip of my tea. Oh, wow. <laughs> the plate got stuck here. Mm. <clears throat> okay, super exciting. Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands. Yeah, your future self wants you to tell tell you, hang in there. Yeah, but not the right time. Hang in there and I want to cry again <laughs> because you have been working so hard. I have been working so hard. <laughs> yeah, hang in there, not the right time. Yeah, maybe you don't see it now, not the right time and with Nine of Wands, hang in there. So maybe you don't see it now. You have no idea how this is gonna, how you're gonna end up there, but hang in there, pile number one. Your future self is saying like, you're gonna make it. <laughs> and you're gonna stand there with all the gratitude and look at your beautiful life. So hang in there. And we have the hero fan. Wow. Uh, yeah, the hero fan. This looks like you. I don't know, I was thinking, yeah, this looks like a part of you. You know, there's an Indian woman here. Or is it Peru, Peru Indian or Peruvian? Uh, Native American Indian or Peruvian, is that how you say it, a Peruvian woman? Uh, it looks like a shamanic uh, woman anyways. It feels like you awakening a part, uh, awakening a part of yourself. Uh, yeah, you awakening a part of yourself. So either if you're a man listening to this, it feels like, yeah, awakening some kind of a shaman you're very you're gonna be very connected you know with the 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 that's how i felt it you know with the recycle you know recycling if you recycle things then you're very responsible you care about mother earth uh so there is this feeling of you caring of or uh, and also because of you're in your pure essence you're very connected you know with gaia you're living you want to live your life in peace so you're living your life in peace and harmony with the earth here um it's like Mother Earth becomes your best friend in the future. And maybe you're even creating things that you, uh, you, you are, yeah, I don't know, maybe crocheting or maybe making drums or making things kind of, you know, I see you walking around in the forest picking things, maybe making necklaces that you're selling on Etsy or somewhere, you know, Amazon or how it works. <clears throat> so you're doing something with your hands in the future. And that's how I felt you were a bit artistic -y creative so you're definitely doing something with your hands and it could be something connected uh, with um, harvesting working to together with Gaia uh, yeah 
<clears throat> to a once. Look at you! You're making a... You, <laughs> there's a bean, bean making here. <laughs> wow, I love this. So two of wands. Yeah, look at you again doing something, growing, growing things. And can it, it could also just be that in your house, you know, your garden, you're growing and you, there's a lot of peace. You're definitely going to have love. Uh, you have love. You have somebody next to you. You have a man or a woman next to you uh, in the future. And your future self wants to know that you found love also. You, you know, oh, I want to cry again. Yeah, you didn't just find happiness. You found love. And it's like I said, it's like inside you and outside you. It's just this life. Just yeah, Everything just came together. And you deserve this. <laughs> uh, uh, I shouldn't have meditated so much before I did this reading. Anyways. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, love. And I mean, look at you here being here in harmony. And the two of wands is about the future. You're creating your own future together here. So you're, I see you definitely sharing this place with somebody. It feels like love and it doesn't feel like any love. It feels like true love. So true love is going to be beside you. And you know what? If it's not, if you can't imagine yourself, if you don't think it's going to be with a partner, then there, you're definitely going to have some pets uh, around you. That's, I mean, there's no true love as, you know, the love that you have to your pets. So if it, it could be pets also, or maybe both, you know, both a pet and the love of your life here. And it's, it feels like a spiritual love with Hierophant here. A high, highly spiritual love, very balanced, very harmonious, very, there's a high consciousness here. You can talk about everything. There's loyalty, there's stability, there's safety. Everything that you didn't get as a child, you're getting. And, 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 and you're not even you're not even carrying the burden of who you were and who what you went through. Look at this person has released their, that. So you're not even identifying yourself with what you went through. It's gone. That energy is totally gone. He's somebody. If you meet somebody from the past, and they say something to you, it's not you're not even even gonna understand what you're saying because you're not identified with that person anymore. You're gonna be like, what? Who are you talking about? Or like. Uh, if they are trying to trigger you in some way, it's just not going to be anything there. It's just going to go right through you. You're just going to stand there and look at them with love and just like actually no opinions <laughs> because there is no, it's gone. You have released that energy. Uh, so yeah, whatever you're doing, pile one, I am applauding you and I am applauding you. This is going good. <laughs> and we have five of swords. Five of Swords and finally <clears throat> Eight of Swords. Yeah, <clears throat> you're gonna take yourself out of this. So it's it's been it's been a, a bit of a it's been a lot going on in your mind, you know, with what what happened to you. Uh, maybe not just not what happened to you, but the condition of your mind. If if you don't if you don't recognize things happening to you, you know there's always things happening to us. I mean, if we we always have things that we deal with, but it's in a different degree. You know, depending on the intensity of the karma we're carrying and what we went through and how we reacted to things. So that is not so important. But there's a lot of things in your mind. You know, here with the five of swords and the eight of swords uh, that has uh that you are overcoming and and, you, and and your future self wants you to know this you are gonna overcome this don't even if at times it can be it, at times it can be empowering at times you know with eight of swords you really feel stuck you feel stuck you can't see you don't even know like what am i doing am i going the right direction and, and you feel stuck like the eight of swords is stuckness <laughs> is being really stuck and, and the five of, of swords not just stuck but overpowered with conflicting thoughts and emotions and you know a lot of things going on a lot of things going on so at times it's like i i, I it feels like you can't make it or you you don't know how you're going to reach this beautiful life that you feel that you want because your future self said you're gonna make it so this is something that you want already now you want that life for yourself and peace and harmony that unconventional life of freedom that matches your soul and the sensitivity that you have and the needs that you have you you have a deep need for living you have a deep need oh i'm gonna cry <laughs> Oh, okay, this is definitely my pie. <laughs> and I'm also healing now, so thank you guys for giving me the space to heal because uh, yeah, it's it's very healing, you know, to 
open up and talk about the deep things. So you need a life where you experience love. There is a deep need for that inside of yourself. And it is because your soul is very, very connected with the love of the universe, with the source of love. Uh, there is a lot of angelic, high vibrational energy here. So whatever type of soul that you are on higher levels, you are a very high vibrate, vibrational soul. That is also why you have the sensitivity. You know, it's not, a, it's not by chance. <laughs> it is because your soul carries that energy and also because you have come so far on your spiritual journey that your soul is already pure you know you have already purified so much <laughs> so this whatever this is that has is up in this life it's the last big thing here and it really shows that is the last big thing that you're healing here because of the life that is coming after this the life that is coming after you have released all this and found the forgiveness and thing is a life in happiness and joy and everything that you wanted so what, this is just wonderful. So this is really your future self wants you to hang in there and, and gives you a big hug and says, I know it's hard at times, but just hang in there. You're going to make it. You're going to make it through. Yeah. Oh, I'm shaking. I I feel my heart chakra is break, opening up and it has, it, it's opening up in a new way. So it's like vibrating and the energy is flushing here or moving. It's a lot of movement. Ooh, I think we're gonna do three more tarot cards. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna do three last tarot cards. Let me see. Hmm. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, I was actually even thinking before I did this reading <laughs> because I think, uh, yeah, I was thinking like, yeah, maybe if something really comes up during the reading, what am I gonna do then? <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's gonna be the, let's just handle it then I thought. So, uh, okay, anyways. <clears throat> Let's see here your three last tarot cards to get some last messages here from your future self. And guys, I love this reading. I love sharing this moment with you. And we have the moon. Emotions. Yeah, emotions. Hmm. And look at this. <clears throat> There's a black cat here looking into the water. And what the cat sees in the reflection looking back, back, it seems like an angry panther or something. Arr! So this cat doesn't even see. It's like you don't even see yourself. Maybe you don't even understand the purity of the soul that you are. Maybe you don't even understand what a amazing person that you are. And uh, because of the conditioned mind and all the things, you know, that you went through. So maybe it's hard for you to connect with that deep essence of purity. You know, we all have that. Everybody has that. Everybody has goodness in them. And maybe you, you, you got, like I said, things happen to you. Maybe you got disconnected from that uh, inner goodness, the core goodness in you. Looking at yourself in the mirror, not seeing yourself clearly. Seeing faults. Seeing things that you don't like, seeing things that you need to fix, but there is none, there is nothing there. You know, the moon always shows things hidden, you know, not seeing, maybe illusions, not seeing. So you're not seeing yourself with the purity of eyes, but you, that is coming. Uh, and nine of swords. Yeah, look at you here. The black cat comes up here again. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of uh, magic. Yeah, you probably have a lot of magic abilities. But anyways, nine of swords. Look at you sitting here crying. And uh, yeah, you've been trying to find the answers in all the books, <laughs> you know. And you know, yeah, in all the books. And yeah, it's still hard. Uh, nine of swords and the sun. I mean, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so this is definitely showing the before and after or kind of where you are maybe now in life you're trying to navigate yourself through this you're trying to see yourself through the illusions you're trying to heal those emotional wounds and things you're trying to navigate and guide yourself through those difficult thoughts that are popping up from time to time and the sun I mean ending your reading in full the sun, I mean, the sun is also the, the, the card that stands a lot for the inner child. And look at you, Joy, here, laughing with your sisters here, dancing. You know, maybe you're going to be uh, 
planting sunflowers. There's a lot of sunflowers here. Yeah, barefoot dancing. There's a lot of black cats everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, maybe you have a connection to black cats or cats. Uh, and the sun is also about, you know, fulfilling your life purpose. The sun is also... Uh, signifies the self, the me, the I. So it's gonna be like you are changing. It's like your co core identity. It's, it's your, sh your whole you is changing. You're becoming a, a new, you're becoming you. I wouldn't even say a new you. You're becoming yourself, who you were from the beginning. But not just that, because of that you went through so many, many lifetimes and all these uh, challenges and things that you went through this lifetime. So you're not just becoming you again, you're becoming an even stronger you, an even more confident you. And, and, and <laughs> that purity that you have inside of yourself from the beginning is becoming even more pure. Your sensitivity is becoming even stronger because you are ra raising, you're becoming closer to source energy. You have been... Your whole soul has evolved through this whole process. And I mean, th that is kind of the process, you know. The thing, we come here, we incarnate on earth as a soul. We go through the whole soul human journey to evolve as a soul. Uh, so that's, you've been, you're closing that cycle. You're evolving as a soul. And you're finally finding peace and harmony in your life. And I think the, the end of your life... The, the 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 last half of your life or however whenever this happens to you it's gonna be a, you're gonna have a great life i mean your future self really is like tears of joy and you're gonna be very very kind um, and a very there's a saintly energy to you uh oh i'm gonna cry again. <laughs> okay so there's a saintly energy to you because of, look at this sun <coughs> energy here. There's a mother here that is uh, it's just with child here, showing that mothering, nurturing energy. So you're going to take a lot of people underneath your wings, I think. You're, you're going to be spreading joy and laughter and nourish. People are going to get healed by being close to you. So yeah, people are going to... There's a lot of healing. You're you're gonna be a very a force to be reckoned with in the world in some way, and even if you're out there doing something, but it's, it feels like you're doing something. You're sharing something, but it doesn't feel like it's a, it's not a hustle. <laughs> it's not a difficult life that you're living. You're not working. You're not achieving. You're just being. You're just living your life kind of in harmony and you're doing your thing. And the people that naturally crosses your path. Uh, are getting healed and touched by you uh, some way are getting healed and touched by you and like I say it's, you don't have to do hands-on healing words are healing the creativity creativity that you're sharing the creative uh, things that you're making and doing making somebody food is healing listening to somebody is healing there's so many things here so you're you're becoming some kind of a you're definitely, you know, the, the the term the wounded healer. So you're you're not the wounded healer anymore. You are the healer. You are just the healer and a natural healer. You're not even doing something like I say. Just being that light, beautiful, loving presence. <laughs> I think I learned my lesson. I don't think I'm gonna meditate this much and then do readings. <laughs> It's like a, a, everything is like really, I think my heart is about to burst open and all the energy that's been stored there is like coming out now in this reading. So yeah, <clears throat> once again, I'm sorry if that bothers you. Whew. Okay. You're going to be a light in the world. Yeah, you're going to be a light, a beautiful light in the world. <laughs> Pile number one. Whew, okay, that was your reading. What a beautiful reading and the messages from your future self. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was it. Mm -hmm. Okay, pile one. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Uh, yeah, to support the channel's growth. Either way, I wish you all the best. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, pile one. Hello, pile two. And welcome to your reading. What your future self wants you to know. And you felt drawn to the butterfly and snowdrop here with hope. And you know, snowdrops... Uh, we have them here in Sweden. They are the first flowers to come uh, in the beginning of the spring. And sometimes they even come, you know, when the snow, there is still some snow. So 
snowdrops it stands for hope and yeah rebirth symbolizes rebirth i feel also with the the white here purity but the blue butterfly here makes me think that your future self wants you to know that your voice is going to be very loud and clear in the future <laughs> and uh, yeah and i don't know if you have been having a hard time communicating your truth that is not going to be a problem in the future you're very 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 strong in the future very clear voice very clear boundaries and there is none that's going to cross your boundaries anymore because of you you're being you're very very strong in the future very pure and strong there's a strength there's a knife sharp light light yeah light yeah it's like knife sharp light in your aura and and there is like you're very strong and i'm keep getting that strong <laughs> strong and pure and your voice is loud and clear your mind is very uh very very yeah very hmm very clarity i just feel this energy of clarity uh let's look here we're gonna put your tarot cards to the side and let's dive into your oracle cards but also yeah you know with a butterfly yeah the, the go, going from a caterpillar to a butterfly you are you you are fully you <laughs> look at you you are the beautiful butterfly i love this blue color really the the throat chakra but i'm also thinking of archangel michael you know that has the sword of truth so you're very pure and strong in your energy and it's like your voice Whatever you are saying with your voice is heard and it's leaving an echo. Echo of tr the truth is echoing and rippling from you, something like that. So maybe you are, we're going to look look at the rest here. So, But you, you, it feels like you, you, you are using that voice for something. You are using that voice for something. You're taking, you're taking place in the world. You have taken your place in the world in the future and... Uh, uh, there is no fear left in you. I feel you have overcome all the fears and all the challenges, but especially fear. So I don't know if you had a fear of being seen, fear of communicating your truth, maybe even something with your voice. Maybe you were stuttering or maybe you were having a hard time finding the words or there was a lot of mental clutter. You have no mental clutter in your head. You're very clear about who you are and what you want. And you're, you're very good at communicating it as well. And you're being listened to. You're being, you've been, you're being heard. And you're also, be, you're becoming a very good listener also. Very balanced and harmonious in your energy. I feel you as a leader here of some type or force somehow to be reckoned with um, a beautiful you have bloomed out to become a beautiful being look at you how beautiful you are <laughs> you really have taking out you really are showing your wings you know they're they're not halfway they're fully fully shown here uh, <clears throat> and the beautiful snowdrops that are uh, surrounding you here uh hmm showing your pure intention with your words every every word that comes out out of your mouth is just uh sheer truth love or something like that wow <laughs> interesting energy here let's look at the rest of your card dandelion and wishes there's a lot of flowers that we have here in sweden and we also have dandelions here uh, and uh, dandelions at some places ca it can be seen as weeds but you know what dandelions is actually very you can eat them they're actually very healthy they're good for your digestion digestion is that the name yeah it's good for your stomach i think anyways uh, and uh, the, the the root dandelion root is good for your digestion so and with the with the we have the blue here and then we have the yellow dandelions here thinking that you are really clearing out in the f your future self your solar plexus chakra is very strong <laughs> you're very in your your own skin you know very in your own skin and in it's like you're very grounded and earth you're in your body you're owning your truth but you're you're also owning your body and your future and what you want and all those things and wishes your wishes 
have come. Your wishes have been fulfilled. And I think it's something has been very important here, connected to your self-worth and your confidence and your future self wants to know that you found the confidence. You found the self-love, you found self-worth, and you found that voice inside of yourself. And now you're not going to be quiet. You're not quiet. <laughs> and I feel like I'm talking faster. And I want to talk and talk and talk. So whatever that was that was hindering you from fully expressing yourself. So it's not just with the voice, but also expressing yourself, maybe with your body language, maybe with the way you take place in a room, the way you take place in a conversation, the way you are fearlessly sharing your ideas and your view on the world, the way you fearlessly say no when somebody crosses your boundaries. This is person, you have become this person in the future. Your future self wants you to know that. And you have made wishes come true for you. You have gone out there and you have grabbed that thing that you wanted and you made it come true all by yourself. <laughs> it's like there's a pride in your future self. Yeah, you, we're going to do it, you know. <laughs> we made it, we did it. Like we went and out there and we, we created that reality that we wanted for ourselves. There is a dandelion wine here. And, and this is a very random message, but I wanted to bring it out there. And I don't know if somebody wants to buy a wine, <laughs> wine yard, is that name? Wine yard wine yard yeah i think like kind of in italy or france or portugal or spain or something like that you're gonna make it happen there's also coffee here uh yeah coffee so yeah, either way yeah and that feels kind of like a luxurious life you know so you have created a sophisticated life <laughs> you have created a sophisticated and very cultural cultural cultivated life you know and maybe you really like those things, you know, going to the opera, watching ballet, going to watch uh, uh, paintings and traveling maybe to France and, you know, the Lorraine and, and doing all those things. So you are, wow, you're, you're busy being the future. Wow. And I, I feel, I feel so much joy. I'm about to jump up and down here. <laughs> but yeah, you have created a life where you are really experiencing life. You're not holding yourself back anymore from fear, from not being worthy, from not having, and if something was going on with your solar plexus, you know, solar plexus is all about being able to take the right action for yourself. And uh, guiding our life to to come to that the success that we want 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 to see it so this is something that's happening with you you are something is balancing in your solar plexus chakra and in your throat chakra so you're not just you don't just have the action uh you're gonna also get the guidance you know through the throat chakra you're getting the guidance to where you're supposed to guide yourself but also you're you're have the action to take yourself there so I see a lot of travelings, I see a lot of laughter, I see a lot of fun, I see even drinking wine with your friends and laughing until your cry, eyes are crying. And I see you, yeah, going, I, I think, I see a lot of, like, you know, Spain, Italy, France, Portugal, like Europe, travelling Europe, maybe you want to see these countries, but you have a connection to these countries, Greece, you know, with all this, the, the rich culture that these countries has, with food, with the wine and drinks, with art and uh, just history. And it feels like you are, you are doing some, you're really, this seems important for you to do this. You are exploring these countries, maybe other countries as well, but you're an explorer. <laughs> Wow, who you have, and you have so much energy. I mean, I don't know if I can manage the whole reading. You have so much energy. It feels like power, you know, with a with a dandelion and the wishes here. You have your your solar plexus is like a power field. What is it called? A power generator or something. You're never tired. And if, I mean, if you're old, it's like you're getting new energy. It's like you have a sun burning in your solar plexus. You definitely have healed something in your solar plexus and your throat chakra that has made you that energy flow. And you as a soul always had a lot of power. So you're a very powerful soul. So with you clearing those blockages that you had in those two chakras, you're taking back your power and not just that, you're becoming a power generator, you know? <laughs> wow, you can achieve 
whatever you want in the future and you have done it in the future you have and it feels like you your future self wants to know because when i see you now in your future it seems like you're in the middle of that you're traveling around you're doing your thing you're you're having fun you're eating good food you're making love you're you're laughing you're dancing you're crying you know tears of joy and you're enjoying life and it, you're in the middle of that and it's like you're enjoying the journey there is not not like i want to come to the end like what am i gonna do okay i went to france what am i gonna do now no you're fully in that moment enjoying that moment so you're very here and now you're very alive very alive you know like the dandelion it can be seen as an invasive weed because it's growing in everywhere uh it's, it feels like your luck is just gl growing and multiplying. It's like, whoo, everywhere, everywhere. I, I actually really like dandelions. They're beautiful, you know. They're also very funny, you know. Dandelion, when they're over bloom, they become, you know, these things that you can blow. Do you have dandelions in the country that you live in? I, I don't know which countries have them, actually. When you blow, when you blow, blow them, it looks like, f not feathers, but these little things blowing away. So, uh there's change yeah you're dancing with the changes of life you are dancing with the changes of life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay that was just the two cards <laughs> oh wow Whew, i'm shaking okay Ooh, we have an airplane here and a lightning so i just got a message here some of you are afraid of flying maybe that's why you didn't travel anywhere and uh and it's funny, I have been flying a lot, I mean like maybe 40, 50 times. I was traveling a lot before in my youth and I am still scared of flying actually. I don't like it. <laughs> I think it's scary. I Yeah, I don't like it that much. <clears throat> so we have a number 41 here, so maybe somebody's 41. But if you had a fear of flying, if that was holding you back, you're overcoming that fear. You are overcoming that fear and you are going to be... Uh, happy and I felt I feel the anxiousness inside of myself when I felt this energy I was like ooh I still don't like flying so yeah but the, the future self is saying it's not gonna be a problem you're gonna be flying everything is gonna go be good because you're gonna feel safe yeah okay you know the solar plexus whatever was taking energy from you here there was fear maybe stored in the solar plexus or something like that and because of you releasing that, there's something also going on here with the root chakra here, with with not feeling safe in the world. Maybe you had control issues, you know, you wanted to control your reality uh, because of... Uh, yeah, if we live a life where we, we don't feel safe, you know, from our childhood, we, yeah, we don't feel safe because of this or that reason. Our parents doesn't make us feel safe or we have a lot of challenges and anxiety then we grow up and we have this need to control things because we don't have trust and we we, we don't we, we have this inner uh inner disruption like it says there inner disruption inside of ourselves where we think we're not safe in the world but you're also healing and letting go of that so you're becoming very safe in the world and that's why you're also becoming alive so you're taking back your power as a human. It's like all your chakras and the energy is kind of not, it has not been flowing, maybe not flowing like it's doing, it's not flowing now. It's taking away your life energy. You're not harvesting that good ass chi, <laughs> that, yeah, that good ass prana, like uh, Raf Smart says here. But anyways, that good ass prana, you're not harvesting that. It's not flowing freely through your body, but in your future, it is. You are fully healed. You went from the caterpillar to the butterfly and now the energy is flowing and you have the you have access to so you have hmm. so there's a different quotation. There's a different quotation. I think I'm saying that right. There's a light quotation, and the light quotation is about how much light we can carry within our energetic structure, our, our energetic body. And it depends on I think it depends on like uh, how much of your soul is integrated, what type of soul that you are, and uh, yeah, how much uh, light that you can contain, something like that. I, I'm actually not fully sure of this, but I think it's something like that. But your soul, wow, you have a very high vibrational soul. So your light quote, quota, quota, anyways, you can you can contain a lot of light inside of yourself and maybe also that's why it wouldn't surprise me if energy vampires loves your energy because your energy is yummy yummy <laughs> because yeah because you are very connected you know to prana to life force 
you have a very strong soul. So it's like narcissistic people, energy vampire, or just toxic people, they look at you and somewhere in the subconscious mind, they just feel like, wow, I can go feed there. There is so much yummy energy there for me to take. And this could be like a very an unconscious level. And then they see your emotional wounds in, in your, maybe in your solar pla solar plexus chakra, throat chakra, they run all over you, they cross your boundaries, they trigger you and they want your yummy energy or something like that. So that could definitely be a healing that you're doing and with that you are you are holding all, on to all that yummy energy for yourself. I mean, it's your, it's, it's your pra, it's your connection. You shouldn't, uh, uh, and you can, we can give away our energy when we choose to give it away. That's the thing. We choose to give energy away. Nobody can, uh, nobody is allowed to cross our boundaries and latch onto us like a vampire and, and suck the energy out of us. So, and maybe you had to learn this because as being being the butterfly here that was a caterpillar feels like you were a bit shy maybe or hiding yourself maybe you were bullied you know in school maybe you had problems with your self-worth or have problems with your self-worth and you always been awkward and weird in some way not fitting in and that even tended to make it even worse you know uh, and the way you grew up and blah 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 and all these things uh, and, and by saying blah blah blah, I'm not minimizing it in any ways. So I went through all of I went through all of this, so I know I know how it feels to be bullied. I know how it feels to be abused and forgotten, <laughs> and all those things. Anyways, so um, yeah, you're healing that. You're 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 not you you have healed that, and I just see you in this wine you are but i think that is like showing you enjoying yourself maybe in toscana or something maybe you're buying a cute little cottage house somewhere and you're walking there in the wine yards and you know in the morning you have a little bicycle you're, you're biking down to the village you're buying fresh bread and you're sitting somewhere near a fountain children are laughing and you're just enjoying life i really like this <laughs> i got a whole vision here <laughs> okay <clears throat> <laughs> let's look at the rest of your cards here and we have a no we have a no let's put that oh yeah no yeah no yeah no oh yeah <laughs> okay oh. so yeah no 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 yeah what does that mean it's not it's not a it's not a negative no it's so negative no always feels like it's something ne negative you see no and you go like oh no why do i have a no <laughs> that doesn't feel good that doesn't look good but no is good here no is you saying no to the abuse saying no to toxic people saying no to people crossing your boundaries saying no to people wanting to minimize you or making you feel insecure about yourself or trying to get to your energy in some way it's very fun actually i have a lot of trolls here on my channel and they it's i actually started to enjoy it because it's really like trying to to get under your skin by finding something that they feel is a bit uh, an insecurity to you and then they use it to trigger something in you and now i really like uh, because i'm very uh, comfortable kind of with my insecurities because i'm i'm facing them all the time so uh and I, I started to use this actually as a trigger. I'm like, ooh, I'm getting triggered. Let's feel, let's feel that energy and then release it. But this is how it works. And it's like, the more light that you have, the more this this energy. It's like moths and flies and and insects getting drawn to the light. It's the same thing. People that has this. Uh, toxicity or something that doesn't they, they're not connected everybody's good you know there's goodness in everybody so but they're not connected to that inner source inside of themselves so what they do is they lash on to other people trying to get a piece of their light so it's very low consciousness very egoic low consciousness fear-based so <clears throat> And you're learning how to say no to this in the same way, learning how to say no, being very strong here in your solar plexus. There's a big no coming out from you where you are taking back your power. And we have, wow, whew. we have one step ahead is all you need. We have another, another uh, number 41 here. So I know there's a lot of people that watches my channel that is actually 41. I am 41 myself. I'm turning 42 this year. So maybe 41 has a significant number. Could be something else that happens 
at 41 or maybe you're seeing a lot of fours and a lot of ones but four plus one is also five five is the angelic number that st stands for positive change so you're going to positive change and there's a forward look at this forward thing here so it all ends up in the heart chakra <laughs> you know with the green here green and turquoise here uh, one step ahead is all you need. One step ahead is all you need. You, this is happening soon, I think, pile number two. One step ahead is all you need. Yeah, I think this is happening soon. Or this is happening now, you know, with the forward play button here. It's kind of like... You're on this path now. Moving here. You are moving here. You're doing this. You are healing and you're doing this. You're getting here. And uh, yeah, it's going to be all worth it. It's going to be all worth it. You have a cocky uh, future self. It's like confidence is really like I'm confident and I'm going to own it. <laughs> because maybe you weren't confident your whole life. So now when you finally found confidence, it's like, yeah, you know what? I'm confident and I'm going to be conf comfortable in my own skin. I have the right to be that. So you're really becoming like, a, like I said somewhere in the beginning, a force to be reckoned with. The voice of truth. And... A very strong leader. So if, if you if you're becoming a leader of some time, you're becoming a very strong leader. There's there's you're getting respect from the people around you because of the purity in the strength that you have. It's not strength that comes from fear. You're not you're not you're not uh, uh, trying to put people down in some way. You know, like here I like making them feel. There's you know there are people that uh, that gain their sense of egoic identity but making other people feel smaller you know practicing power over them but you are a powerful leader and you're getting respect not by being fearful but by people seeing you being a powerful person but at the same time very 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 very, very strong but also very loving and very balanced in your way you're not you're not gaining power by you're not gaining respect by putting yourself over on top of others, but just by being uh, uh, very pure. Yeah, very pure and honest. There's honesty in your energy. This, it's very clear that you are not looking for um, power or somebody else. And I don't know, power, power, keep saying power here. So maybe power struggles has been a thing in your life. Probably I see past lives here. So I see you went through this whole... Uh, thing with power struggles and slaveries and and uh, uh, things like that yeah power struggles in past lives really power struggles with the, the patriarch or the rich people or the the, the powerful people and then being prosecuted and being yeah and standing up for yourself being a rebel and revolutions the french revolution all the revolutions <laughs> you've been a lot to, to things like that so i think power and power struggles has been a theme in your in your life that comes from past lives you know being able to talk your truth stand in your truth uh, stand for who you are take place and all these things yeah definitely a theme from past life yeah definitely a theme from past life mm. uh, yeah <laughs> okay let's look at your tarot cards <clears throat> i have to take a sip of my tea here mm. you know what what i feel your future self here because actually we have all the chakras here so it's kind of you're you're very you're becoming in the future you're a person that are very <laughs> you're like a chameleon you can choose to sw you're swift you're shifting back and forward to that energy that best suits the situation so when you need to open your heart you're going to go up in the heart you're centering yourself in the heart when you need to use the throat chakra you're moving up to your throat chakra you're opening that up you're opening your sol solar plexus up you're standing there in your truth and power and then all of a sudden you know you're you're letting that go and you're going into your childlike self again or something like that you're you're becoming very good in moving energies and using your self to adapt to what the situation demands from you but in a, like kind of in a very balanced way you're a very good speaker I, I, I would definitely say that you really are if you were meant to be some teacher or guru or something like that or a leader or an autorical figure or something like that or uh, it feels like it, that is in in your 
path here, you're, you're a very, very good, very skilled person to do that. Very skilled person to do that. Also because of all these past lives you have learned. I mean, I'm, I'm getting, you know, Nelson Mandela, I'm getting Martin Luther King and, and you know, all this uh, Gandhi and all these people. So like some, 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 an energy like that, an energy like that, forced to be reckoned with, that really gets a lot of people with them. People listens to listen to you, and <clears throat> I feel that is in your energy. But when I see you in your future self, it's like no, I'm not doing that now. I'm enjoying life. So it feels like that might come further along the path. I think the first thing that you're doing here is traveling, having fun, enjoying life before you step into that mission of being some kind of a leader if you choose to do that for some of you you're not choosing to do that this lifetime because you have been that person in previous lifetimes so it's like you don't you're done with that so for some of you you're done with that and for others of you you want you have a mission to do that once again this lifetime in some way uh but what i really feel is that is the traveling having fun part enjoying life that is definitely for all of you <laughs> you're like <"Woo> <laughs> yeah yeah enjoying life having fun <clears throat> okay, Whew. let me take a short breather and let's dive into uh, your tarot cards. And we have four of cups, four of cups, yeah, saying no boredness. At times in life, it feels like you've been a bit bored with what life gave you and you know this is the contrast here actually because when I see you in your future self you're definitely not bored I mean you are not bored there in Italy and France and Portugal and laughing and having fun but there has been parts of your life where you have been bored with the responsibilities of life you have felt burden you have felt maybe apathic and depressed like well life is so boring I have to go to work and I have to do this and I have to do that it's just an endless cycle of chores and have to and pay bills and rent and blah 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 something like that <clears throat> that feels like that is the past energy your future self wants to want you to know yeah you're not gonna experience that is you're gonna have so much fun it's like she is so excited or he is so excited for you it's like it's gonna be so much fun <laughs> i can't wait until you get here something like that <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> we have four of swords uh, four of swords yeah four of cups four 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 of swords four of cups let's look at the rest here queen of swords okay let's stop there so four of cups <laughs> queen of swords perfect actually queen of swords the, the voice of truth is queen of swords very confident in herself very confident leader very clear in her mind like i said the mental clutter is gone very clear very strong and the four of cups and four of swords here yeah things at times you have experienced you're not moving in your life the way you wanted it to to move the board the board the waiting the waiting is gonna be done i don't know if you've been waiting for something to happen or if you've been waiting yeah, you've been working with yourself and maybe you've been waiting for that big breakthrough or waiting for it to happen or something like that. But the wait is going to give results. It's what I'm hearing now. And the Four of Cups also is also meditation, actually. Four of Cups and Four of Swords. Four of Swords is also about resting, uh, recuperating, uh, taking time for yourself, taking a break, taking a pause. And Four of Cups meditating is kind of the same energy. So if you're meditating... Meditation is going to give you a result, but it could also be saying your inner work is going to give you a result. Know that, uh, your future self is saying. Know that that, that work you're doing with yourself is going to give a result. This is, seems very important for you to know. Know that, that it's giving a result. It's giving you results in every moment of your life. You Like I said, it's kind of you're in this process of moving forward. So in every step, every every time... Every time you prioritize your own meditation and your own work with yourself, the inner work, the inner connection, you are moving forward and it's going to give you results. Don't stop doing that. Don't stop working with yourself. I hear here. Do not stop. Ace of Cups. <laughs> Don't stop because you are going to hit that big breakthrough. Ace of Cups is also, you know, the card of enlightenment. You know, enlightenment, when it happens, enlightenment... I shouldn't say too much, maybe, because I'm not enlightened, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> oh, we love that. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, enlightenment, what I 
intuitively feel. It's, it's a process for many of us. It, it happens, you know, gradually. It's supposed to happen gradually for kind of like Eckhart Tolle, you know, it's just happened over a day and for other people also maybe it happened in different ways. But we all have a like a plan uh, and on, you know, Eckhart Tolle was meant to be a very uh, powerful spiritual teacher and leader in this lifetime, helping so many people uh, to awaken. So that was kind of in his mission and that's what happened here. But Ace of Cups, I, I always had this feeling like when it, ha it's yeah, it's like, uh, uh, my guides told me like one time, they're like, you know, when, a, when, a, when, a, when an apple is ripe, uh, it will fall from the tree. And there's nothing that can stop the tree from falling. It's a law of nature, they said. So it's kind of, you know, gradually we are going towards our enlightenment, but we cannot do anything more than keep on doing the work. And when the, the apple is ripe and ready to fall from the tree, there's nothing that can stop that apple from falling. There's no force stronger than Dhamma, than, than the law of nature. There's nothing stronger than that. So it's bound, the apple is bound to fall. So enlightenment is bound to come. But with that said, Ace of Cups, your good work with yourself, your inner work that you're doing with yourself, your meditation, uh, uh, your practice is bound to give you results. It is bound to give you results. It's the law of nature. It's, it's, it cannot not give you results. <laughs> so this seems very important for you to know. And you're, it's giving, it's, your future self wants you to know. It, it gave you results. <clears throat> it, cre it, gave, it gave you results. Yeah, it gave you results. <clears throat> Ten of Swords once. It not just gave you results, it ended your suffering. It ended that hard work that you had to do. So yeah, it, the, end, <clears throat> the end of suffering came with this. Mm. Yeah, and then it all became whoop, super quiet. <laughs> Not a single word uh, or thought. And that pile number two was the end of your reading. <laughs> what a beautiful reading that was. <clears throat> yeah, if you like my, let me cough here. Yeah, the voice. <coughs> <coughs> Interesting. <clears throat> mm. The voice, the voice, the voice. Whew. Okay, pile number two, like I said, that was your reading. If you like my reading, subscribe to my channel. If you want to support my channel's growth, please also hit the like button. Either way, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, pile two. Hello, pile three, and welcome to your reading, what your future self wants you to know. And you felt drawn to the boar and pumpkin here with confidence and boars. I actually have a lot of boars <laughs> around here. And yeah, in Sweden, we have a lot of boars. And uh, they are, they have a thick skin, very thick skin, actually. Uh, and uh, they're very courageous and brave and... Uh, Hmm, confidence. Let's let's put it over there. I feel, I feel a very grounded feeling here, and I feel some kind of abundance that came into your life in the future. You know, pumpkins. I think it's connected to harvest, celebration, uh, Halloween. You know, it feels like death and rebirth in some way. So I think you have. I feel you I feel a very earthy energy creating some some abundance I see some abundance in your future let's put your tarot cards here to the side and let's <clears throat> look at what your future self wants you to know by starting with your oracle cards and you have patchouli and purpose purpose you have found your purpose hmm you have found your purpose yeah <laughs> so uh, pile number three, maybe you were looking for your purpose and your place in the world and, and maybe it was not really, you were not really sure where you w would end up uh, and, and probably I feel like the, the place that you are now in your life, it could, it's, it's not really 100% fulfilling for you. For some of you, it's half fulfilling. For some of you, it's going to be almost fully fulfilling. For some of you, it's not fulfilling at all. I feel like there's a different uh, 
different energies here and different viewers here uh, that choose this reading but the future your future self wants to to know that you really found your place where you feel this is where i'm supposed to live this is what i'm supposed to do you're having good routines you're you're living your life in a very stable and grounded and good way you feel you feel secure in the world and not just secure you feel that there's contentment in the future a lot of contentment uh, a lot of contentment i don't know it feels also like you have money in the bank like your savings or your uh yeah it's just stability and safety a lot of stability and safety in the future you know even more than you need like that you know it's like you paid off your mortgage or your student loans and you have money in the bank and like yeah your house you know everything is fixed there's no leak somewhere nothing going on your health is good uh, your body is strong yeah you know thick skin your body is very strong so you, if there's some physical problems going on with you it feels like in the future you have either fully healed or you have strengthened your body or you have found a way to make your life not so painful on the physical level because of something that you have been doing with yourself uh, maybe some alternative medical treatments or something like that. There's skin. There could be skin. Something with your skin. Like if you had eczema or something going on with your skin. It feels like the rash or whatever it was. You found a way to heal that. Uh, and you know, I don't know if you know uh, the, the American... Uh, I'm going to call her guru. I don't know what she called herself. Louise Hay. Uh, I I love Louise Hay. She was uh, she's she's not alive anymore. Uh, so she, uh, yeah, she was an American uh, healer. What am I gonna call her? Author. She shared the book How to Heal Your Body, and in that book, she's showing how different physical symptoms, what emotional wound and thoughts that has created that because you know all our physical not all of them some of them you know we choose to be born with certain physical limitations because there's something our soul wants to learn it could also be that but in Louis Hay's book you can look up the physical symptom that you have and what emotional wound or need uh, created that and what kind of thoughts so eczema and rashes is all about i think if i remember it right the need for love the need for love the need for being seen not being seen as a child maybe not being loved as a child so the rash is kind of like hey see me or the skin condition is like kind of hey see me like i i want love i want recognition because in my soul everybody wants love and recognition i mean we are human beings social beings we want to be loved and seen <laughs> and feel safe <clears throat> and even if you don't have a skin condition maybe this is a, a thing of you not being loved and seen so that is definitely changing in the future you are and i feel having a fan i feel a warm cozy home in the future so you are have created for yourself a very loving home not not just you know fulfilling your purpose maybe that was your purpose a very very loving home uh in in the future and i think patchouli it's some kind of a herb or flower it's it's I, I if i don't remember it wrong i think it's, it has a very specific smell i think it smell it's very rich the smell yeah very rich so you have a rich family life full life you know i see actually like a you know drinking tea or chocolate together playing board games and laughing or something like that being very intimate having very very intimate close loving relationships here so yeah you have created a very nice home for yourself and a, a nice nice loving people family that you're sharing this life with uh yeah Whew, i say i like this <laughs> okay oi <coughs> <laughs> I was thinking like an earthquake you know, when that happened. So what is with the earthquakes here? Because I said earthquake, you know, the boar is... You know what the boar does? The boar actually puts his nose in the ground and it kind of it kind of messes up you know boars are not so popular here in in in, in sweden actually and uh, because they are they are destroying the the grass and the, what is it called the fields and the pastures they kind of mess everything up because they, they're eating the roots 
<clears throat> they're eating the roots and things like underneath the, the grass and all those things. So they always make a big mess. Uh, but with the, the camera moving here also, I was thinking of an earthquake. So maybe you have lived in an area there was earthquakes or something like that. So there has been... You don't have to worry about earthquakes anymore, I'm getting. <laughs> or maybe you're scared of that your house is, like I said, somewhere leaking or not good enough. So you're getting a good house for yourself, a good place to live, a very stable and safe place for live. And if this is doesn't re re resonate with you because you already live there, maybe this is a metaphorical way for the, for the uh, guides here to say that you're going to feel safe within you. So maybe you weren't feeling that deep safety within you. Uh, holding on you know to your money and things maybe being scared of spending things because you wanted to be always making sure that you're going to be safe in the future or what's going to happen we have it you have many insurances and you know all those things being very like oh what's going to happen so it feels like that fear is releasing <clears throat> however it resonated for you and in your future you're feeling safe you're feeling very safe and secure and you know your family is safe and secure. The people that you love is safe and secure. And with you also found your purpose here because I feel like you're doing something important. Like your work situation seems important. The way you support yourself. That also feels like your purpose. What am I supposed to do with my life? I'm getting that question. So what am I supposed to do with my life? That question is answered in the future. And you have found your purpose. Let's look at your uh, rest of your <laughs> oracle cards. Wow, we got coins here and good luck. And uh, number 10. Uh, yeah, one cent, United States of America. <laughs> okay, so coins and good luck. Yeah, money is solving. The money is... I feel a lot of stability when it comes to your money. You know, number 10 here also... Number 10 here also stands for... Oh, well, number 10, I'm thinking of the 10th house in uh, astrology. And the 10th house in astrology is about fame, success, and career. So this could really be, like I said, you are... You found... Uh, you found a successful way of supporting yourself and it seems like it's making a, a lot of money it's steady I don't see like there's money coming like woo I get a lot of money and then it's over a steady inflow of money that makes you feel safe month after month year after year you have uh, yeah, steady inflow of money, more than you need in your everyday life. So you have money to every month even put to the side. You know, maybe you have one uh, retirement account, you have one traveling account, you have one fun account, or you have one buying sweets account. <laughs> no. Yeah, you get the point here. So you have uh, more money coming in then you're using and you're putting things aside and this makes you feel very safe and also like you found also your purpose so you're working and doing something that you really enjoy it's not boring <laughs> the bore <laughs> it's not boring like with a board ah, sorry so yeah it's not boring to go to work anymore you're doing something that makes you feel fulfilled like you feel fulfilled with life here and uh, yeah, you feel fulfilled with life and good luck. Yeah, good luck. You're feeling very successful. You're, yeah, you're feeling very successful or you are very successful in your future. Uh, very successful in your future. Uh, yeah. And we have within the next few weeks. Wow. <laughs> okay. 11 11. Oh my God. I just saw 11 11 on the camera here. <laughs> and then it's uh, also within the next few weeks. And I was thinking, is that happening so soon? So yeah, 11 11 could be a sign here the next few weeks. So for some of you, <clears throat> this is happening within the next few weeks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what can I say? It's just like that sometimes. And you are magic. Wow. And we have a number one here. Uh, you know, zero one even. So kind of like taking that first step. So maybe you're taking the first step to creating this or to really realize, yeah, to creating this within the next few weeks. But you are magic here with the hands. So maybe you're doing something with your hands. It could be also be healing or channeling some energy here. But you are magic. Your future is good. I mean, it's very good. Actually, of, of all the energies, I like this the best <laughs> because it's very like grounded and earthed and balanced, very balanced. It feels like oh, it's, it, it's, it's a grounded high vibration, making it very calm and calm energy to be in, you know, just safe and calm. You know, it's kind of like 
sitting in your chair, reading your book, drinking, you know, your a hot cup of tea and the fire is burning and just like, I feel good within myself, my life looks good, everything is in control, I have nothing to worry about, I feel secure and safe in the world, I have trusted whatever uh, is happening, everything is working out, I think no, nothing's going on in the future really on the level of stress, <clears throat> but you still have trust in yourself that if something comes up, you have trust in that it's going to solve because there's a sense of security within you i think your third eye yeah you know what with the purple here so third eye is all about the trust and also the crown chakra but yeah trust you you have trust in the future and in your own abilities now so there's definitely you have become <clears throat> you let go maybe of control and fear and uh yeah, that's just gone. I mean, so it makes you feel just freedom in your life and just a sense of contentment without worrying of having to have to lose something. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> the fear is fear, you know. Even if we have things, if we're fearful of our security, it doesn't matter if we live in a mansion or if we live in a cottage, we're still going to be scared of something going wrong or losing something. Oh, an earthquake is going to be an earthquake. Oh, you know, so it's kind of healing the fear in itself, not trying to control the outer world, <clears throat> outer world. How are we going to control earthquakes? I mean, that's impossible or something else happening. I mean, things happen. But what we can change is the, the inside of ourselves. Here, the heal the root cause, the root wound to why we feel not feel secure in the world, world, to why we have this maybe a trauma, you know, like I said, from our childhood, not feeling secure. <coughs> then we're carrying this with us. <coughs> My voice <coughs> <you're> not, <coughs> is not cooperating now. <coughs> Wait, hey, it may take <coughs> a bit on my tea here. Mm. Yeah, <clears throat> maybe, you know, with the voice here, maybe you even couldn't say when you were a child, like, I'm scared, like, I need something. Maybe you had, maybe you had a hard time uh, saying what you needed, uh, your needs. And maybe even if you said it, there was nobody that was listening to you. You, you didn't have parents that listened to you. So it was like, uh, uh, help me with no receptive or something like that I don't know something like that but you're definitely in the future you you're not just acknowledging your needs you're realizing what kind of needs that you have you're acknowledging them and you're taking care of them you're very nurturing towards yourself and I think in this you're, there's really your physical body is really healing and I think for some of you you even are gonna start looking younger all of a sudden uh yeah, there's a younger you in the future, so you're not, <laughs> and it could be at some time in your life you were even looking a bit older than you were, and then it's shifting, and with this you're starting to look younger than you are, it's like you're really gonna glow up, it feels like, yeah, your skin is glowing up, you have all the talk with the skin here, so your skin is glowing up, you're glowing up. And confidence, you're feeling very confident in the future. And yeah, very beautiful. Your hair is going to be lustrous and beautiful. And you know, your skin is beautiful. And your your body strong. And uh, you're, f you're physically healthy. And uh, you, you are, you're good. You're in a good place. I feel routines, healthy routines. You found a stable way. It's not... Uh, you know, it's not like, oh, I have to go on a diet, I'm so fat. No, th there's not that thinking anymore. It's more, or I have to put on these uh, creams on my face so I don't get wrinkles or, you know, something like that. No, it's not that anymore. You are pampering and taking care of yourself because you love yourself. It's like you're more connected in what you need. You're like, okay, I need to, I feel like the, my body needs this, this week, my body, or now, right now, my body needs more vegetables. And then it's like, oh, I want to eat sweets. Yeah, that's good for my inner child to eat sweets without feeling guilt. You're not, you're not guilt tripping yourself anymore. You know, you're not shaming yourself, body shaming. You're not shaming yourself, not guilt tripping yourself anymore. You are just honoring your body, honoring yourself, honoring your needs, honoring your voice, honoring your place in the world and taking place in the world. And at the same time, found that purpose, doing a job that you like, supporting yourself in, the, in a way that you like. 
supporting yourself in a way that you feel proud of yourself. You feel, you feel confidence over what you're doing and what you're giving to the world and how you're making money. And uh, supporting maybe even other people around you. But there's a lot of pride in, in yourself. And they think maybe there was a lack of pride maybe in yourself. Or you're not living the life that you wanted. So you were disappointed with yourself. Self-disappointment could have been, been a theme in your life actually. So yeah, self-disappointment. Always thinking like, yeah, but I shouldn't do this, but I should do that. And then you do things that you not you don't want to do. And how am I going to say that? You're judging yourself, being very critical towards yourself, actually. I think you you are your own worst, worst critic, critical, criticism, what is it called? Critic. You're, you're, you are your own worst critic. So criticizing yourself, being very, you're a bit of a perfectionist, this feels, towards yourself or or judging yourself very hard actually unnecessary hard and your future self is gonna say like you have let that go you're so much more kind towards yourself much kinder towards yourself so you're loving yourself in the way you deserve in the future and that reflects in your life that reflects in your life all of a sudden you know where you're going you you your yeah your life looks good i mean your life looks good in the future mm. okay uh, <clears throat> tarot cards. Ooh, I have to take a few breaths <laughs> and a cup of tea uh, or a sip of my tea. <laughs> okay, super exciting. Uh, so we have Queen of Pentacles. You know what? I was thinking like the Queen of Pentacles is in that pile. I just felt it. <clears throat> yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, yeah, what am I gonna say? That is everything that we have been talking about. Queen of Pentacles is this grounded energy, is this nurturing, grounded uh, uh, boss or, you know, the boss of her own life. She has everything under control, but not in a obsessive, fearful way. She has everything under control in a very structured and organized way. I feel Virgo energy a lot here. So maybe somebody has a Virgo energy or Capricorn energy, maybe even Taurus energy. Yeah, Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus energy somewhere in your placement. Wouldn't surprise me if some of you had one of these signs in your Chiron, Chiron is all about the wounded healer, shows us our deepest wounds that we have in this life. So you can check that out by checking out your uh, birth chart. So yeah, learning, it seems like learning about security and safety and money. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, it seems like that is a part of your life, uh, life learning and missions uh, and the 10th house career and fame and finances. Yeah, everything goes together here. But Queen of Pentacles, yeah, super clear message. We have eight of wands. Yeah, so it's moving, you know? It's a phoenix here also. <clears throat> yeah, look at this. I think this is a phoenix bird. So what is, uh, we're gonna say it's a phoenix. Yeah, it has fire in its mouth, you know? That's, the phoenix burns in the fire and then it gets rebirthed. So the phoenix symbolizes one cycle ending and a new one beginning. And it's you burning, you know? That old you is burning up and then a new you is beginning. And because Eight of Wands is this fast movement and we have within the next few weeks, I really think you're taking the steps now and then within the next few weeks you're taking this step now to really this is really manifesting now in your reality here and we have the wheel i mean wow the wheel of fortune and we have the seasons here you know winter summer fall uh spring uh yeah so we have the seasons here <laughs> and it's funny we have uh snowdrops here i think that was in pile two and we have uh, sunflowers here which is funny because I think that was in pile one somewhere anyways but the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune luck you know it's all about luck it's about good karma good thing coming to you the wheel is turning the wheel is turning to your uh, to your advantage uh, so yeah the wheel is turning the wheel is turning you're 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 getting good things in the future. You're gonna be very lucky in the future. Very lucky for the life that you have created for yourself. I think you have good, I think you have money. You have good, you have You have it good with money. You do, you have it good with money. And you, you deserve to have it good with money also. So yeah, it looks good, it looks stable. 
and we have the hanged man wow yeah so the, definitely shifting so your future self wants you to know it it shifted <laughs> it shifted everything shifted whatever was not there is there now and what whatever was there before that i that you didn't like is not there anymore so there's a, there was a big shift happening a big shift happened a big breakthrough a big shift happened and three of pentacles here in the end so for you definitely you know like career and finances security home family good relationships this is the theme here this is the theme in the future you want to have a good earthly life and you deserve a good earthly life as a human you deserve to have a good home you deserve to have good work. You, With the Three of Pentacles, you're really doing something that you are good at. at. Yeah, you found your thing. You found your thing and you're doing it and you're doing it damn good. <laughs> people, Three of Pentacles is also people admiring your work. So people are admiring what you're doing. And this is making you a lot of money, this thing that you're doing is giving you and making you a lot of money, creating that good life for yourself. Uh, a very good life for yourself. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take three last tarot cards. Uh, yeah, we're, I think we're gonna take three last tarot cards. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but, but it feels like we should, so let's do it. Uh, or maybe we should do something else. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna do an oracle deck. Let me go get it. <clears throat> Let's do this one. <laughs> I just felt like with the tarot cards, it felt like it was, yeah, it feels like we got all the information that we needed here. Your life is about to shift. Your future self wants you to know there's a big shift coming. The karmic wheel is turning from bad karma, negative karma, you have ended that phase. And good karma is coming into your life. Luck is coming into your life. Abundance. And you finding your purpose, finding your thing. And doing that thing. Being admired for your work. Making a lot of money in what you're doing. And using that money to really buy yourself a good house. Feel safe in the world. Same time you're healing your root chakra here. Uh, really feeling safe in the world. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So let's take uh, yeah let's see if we're gonna take one tarot oracle card or if it's gonna be several so let's see here last message for pile number three from their future self let's do those two <clears throat> somehow things uh always comes together so let's see if, if does it now too yeah angelic protection Angelic protection. You know what it makes me think of the earthquake that we were feeling uh, and the earthquake not feeling s safe and secure in the world. Your future self wants you to know that in the future you're going to know that you're always protected. Uh, you're going to understand and learn on a very deep level that you're always protected. You're definitely going to feel very safe. It's like you're you're becoming very rooted in your body, in your, in your body, in your physical reality. And... Uh, yeah, you're just going to feel very protected. Also the way you live. And maybe you're living somewhere you don't feel protected. You know? Or your living situation might not be as good as you would like it to be good. Or for some of you, maybe something is broken, you know? And that that is getting fixed. You're getting those money. Or maybe you're scared that something is going to break and you don't have the money to cover it. So you're going to feel... You're going to have that money saved up for that rainy day. And that is going to make you feel safe. But you're also feeling safe on a... Like I said, it kind of goes hand in hand here now. You're also feeling safe inside of yourself uh, because of you releasing blockages, you know, in the, in the maybe probably the lower chakras and the third eye connected to trust. Uh, so yeah, you're feeling safe in the world and spiritual growth. Wow, what a beautiful card. So yeah, spiritual growth. Mm, your future self wants you to know you have grown so much. It is like, uh, yeah, you have grown so much. Yeah, you have grown so much. I can really see you being... And look at the third eye open here. <laughs> so yeah, what is it going on with the third eye? Uh, maybe you really had a blockage there. I mean, purpose, you know? Third eye is also all about purpose. Not seeing your purpose in the world. Not seeing the path ahead. Not getting insights about what you're supposed to do and how to guide yourself. Fear is hindering 
um, maybe fear is hindering your choices and uh, and uh, yeah not just not seeing so you're definitely releasing you know in the third eye and the third eye is all about spiritual growth so you're you're <laughs> it goes hand in hand here now it's like you're creating a good atmosphere inside of yourself as well as, as outside your life and it feels like the outside of your life is very important for the inside of your life you know the inner in, inner atmosphere the energy that you're carrying the way you feel about yourself the way you think about yourself uh, the everyday emotions that comes and goes the everyday thoughts that comes and goes it all kind of becomes very balanced um because of that you have healed and it, it feels very the outside life feels very important it's very important that you i don't know why it's very important but it's very important that you get to experience this success in your life when it comes to your career and when it comes to security and money it's, it's been very important for you i think some of you that is listening here have already reached that and have does already have that in your in their life and i think it's whatever if you're reaching that or if you have already reached that uh i just feel like it seems important for you to know it's been in your plan that you were able to to uh, come there because it has been something about your past lives you didn't have that you had very hard past lives so this is kind of finally balancing that out and being able to experience for you had lives like this before as well but it was a long time ago <laughs> you know the past 10 20 lives has been very hard on you even more maybe 25 lives you know there's been a lot of work so there was no time for settling down so this life you're meant to settle down that's how it feels like settle down in the spiritual you but also in a physical world where everything is coming together you know your work your career your money your retirement money savings money and all that is coming together this life so it's the it's it's kind of bridging uh your spiritual self is getting bridged it, it, there's a bridge being created between your spiritual self and, and the spiritual awakening and all those spiritual things going on with you with the physical human part of you that has needs you know supporting yourself a safe place to live family that loves you uh having good social relationships and fun and you know enjoying life eating good food and having a healthy body and all that those things so there's a bridge here that, that is happening here where everything is coming together and i see you in your future really have you have we have reached this stage you have reached that stage and you're living the good life yeah that is what your future self wants you to know oh my god i am i love these three readings today it was amazing amazing readings <laughs> i really 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 love this so yeah anyways <laughs> thank you thank you for being here so yeah if you like my readings subscribe to my channel uh, hit the like button help me support the growth of the channel uh yeah either way i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time pile tree bye bye